The hottest ticket in Walt Disney World right now is Disney's Hollywood Studios. If you're lucky enough to get a reservation to the park, the next thing you have to worry about is where to eat. How do you find the best food right now in Hollywood Studios? Hey everybody, it's Chris for All Ears TV and AllEars.net. Today we're talking about the best restaurants in Disney's Hollywood Studios as decided by you. We pulled these reviews straight from AllEars.net to help you decide which restaurants you should prioritize in Hollywood Studios. Your pick for the fourth best restaurant in Hollywood Studios with a rating of 7.67, ABC Commissary. This quick service restaurant is themed after an ABC Studios employee cafeteria, complete with art deco decor including indoor palm trees and posters from various ABC television shows. In the past, this restaurant had a kind of bad reputation with people saying the offerings were boring at best and at worst, just plain bad. Well, the renaissance of ABC Commissary is upon us and its reputation among our reviewers and staff has done a full 180 in the past year. LJPSD818 said, We had such a great lunch of shrimp tacos and buffalo chicken grilled cheese. The menu was unexpected and delicious. Talk about a glow up. A year ago, I would not have recommended ABC Commissary for anyone, but now I'm pretty impressed with their new menu. They've got some new classics such as a buffalo chicken grilled cheese, shrimp tacos, bowls. It's really, really good and something a little bit different that you're not going to find anywhere else. Prior to the menu change, this was a big time skip for me. However, now I think it's a really great option for lighter fare in Hollywood Studios, which is something that the park desperately needed. We love when restaurants who previously had bad reputations get the revival they deserve. ABC Commissary is a great example of Disney listening to the feedback and making the necessary changes to bring it up to the quality level of other establishments in the parks. But word has definitely gotten out that this place is good now, and as a result, it's gotten busy. ABC Commissary is a really easy place to grab lunch when you're in Hollywood Studios. I would be warned that it gets super busy around lunch times and dinner time. So if you're gonna eat there, I would recommend going a little earlier or later than you would typically eat that meal. Pro tip, plan ahead if you know this is where you want to eat. Select your mobile order pickup window in the morning for a little bit later in the day. This way, you're reserving your place in line ahead of time and avoiding being disappointed if you check the app later, only to discover that the only pickup times currently being offered are for much later in the day. A number of your reviews rave about the mobile order pickup and availability of indoor seating. A reviewer named Meltort said, We did the mobile order on the app as recommended. It was very easy to pick up food. There was ample seating inside. My son and I both ordered the buffalo chicken grilled cheese. It was very tasty and served with a side of buffalo sauce. The french fries were hot and crisp and had good potato flavor. The pros. You told us you love the food now and we love to hear it. Get out of the heat and into this large, heavily air-conditioned indoor dining room. If you like the old Hollywood aesthetic, you'll love the Art Deco design of this restaurant, complete with indoor palm trees. The cons? You loved the food here, but if someone in your family will only eat a burger or chicken fingers, you won't find those on this menu. This park is consistently the busiest and the quick service restaurants get extremely busy at peak hours. It's a quick service restaurant, which is great for last minute dining, but if you like to plan ahead and know you'll have a place to sit and eat your food, you'll want to consider making a reservation at a table service restaurant. Your pick for the number three best restaurant in Hollywood Studios with a rating of 8.11, Hollywood Brown Derby. This is a replica of the legendary Hollywood location of the Brown Derby restaurant chain, which catered to celebrities of the Hollywood Golden Age. You may notice when visiting Universal Studios Orlando, they have their own replica of a Brown Derby restaurant. However, theirs is modeled after the Wilshire Boulevard location, which was actually in the shape of a Brown Derby hat. But Universal's version houses a merchandise shop and not an actual restaurant. All the original Brown Derby restaurants in the LA area closed by the 1980s, 
So Hollywood Studios offers you a very special opportunity to have a dining experience that just as easily could have been lost forever. Dr. Facilier said, the atmosphere and decor is nice and the servers were outstanding. We were starving and the fresh bread served before lunch was a delight. I had the fan favorite Cobb salad with chicken added. My wife got a margarita flight and it was worth it. I know I'm not the only one who is going to rave about the Cobb salad here. In addition to the food though, you are getting an absolutely amazing atmosphere. While you're there, be sure to check out the guest book in the lobby, which they frequently change up. Yes, an absolute excellent choice. I really enjoy the Hollywood Brown Derby, partly because it has one of my all time favorite Disney foods, which is the Cobb salad. And I know it's a salad, it doesn't sound that exciting, but it's amazing. It's the same recipe from the original Brown Derby out in California, and it's just light and crisp, and it's so yummy, and I love it every time I go. That Cobb salad is famous, and not only in Disney World. Legend has it that Bob Cobb, owner of the Brown Derby restaurants, threw the recipe together from leftovers for showman and theater owner Sid Grauman of Grauman's Chinese Theater, which is also replicated in Hollywood Studios and now houses Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was said to have been finely chopped because Grauman had just had dental work done and couldn't chew well. And the rest, as they say, is Hollywood history. Hollywood Brown Derby is one of my favorite restaurants in all of Disney World. I legitimately go every single time I go to Hollywood Studios, almost, much to the chagrin of my wallet. But I do get that Cobb salad every time, and I have no regrets. Pro tip, when Fantasmic is being presented in Hollywood Studios, Hollywood Brown Derby is the home to a dining package which includes dinner and reserved seating for Fantasmic. You raved about the authentically old Hollywood theming, with reviewer Mystic Magics calling it one of the most amazing places I've ever eaten in. The atmosphere makes you feel like you're in Hollywood and dining with movie stars. The pros. They beautifully recreated a legendary Hollywood institution. Service can make or break a dining experience, and this location certainly has some of the best service in the entire park. As far as your reviews are concerned, this restaurant serves up some truly delicious dishes. The cons? If you subscribe to the notion that you get what you pay for, then yes, this high quality food comes with a high price tag. Not everyone is going to want to sit down to a fancy dinner in a theme park. Some mentioned that you wished there were more options on the menu. Your pick for the second best restaurant in Hollywood Studios with a rating of 8.33. 50's Primetime Cafe. The 50's Primetime Cafe offers nostalgia with a classic diner style menu and an interactive dining experience with a twist. The servers here are all members of your family with names like Anna Lane and Cousin Jeff. Keep your elbows off the table and eat all your vegetables or else you might end up as part of the entertainment. Your server might actually play the airplane game feeding you your veggies like the spoon is an airplane if you haven't finished them on your own. Or even put you in a timeout for not obeying their orders. Unlike Breedlove, I actually love 50s Primetime Cafe and meeting strange relatives I didn't know I had and having them yell at me to keep my elbows off the table. Plus, they don't really have to yell at me to finish my food because my food is probably fried chicken and a milkshake, so I'll gladly eat it all. Dr. Seeker's Dino Puppet said, The food is great, but goodness, I hate being called out by my fake family for not eating my vegetables. See, Molly, I'm not the only one. I'm naturally a pretty shy person, so getting yelled at to finish my meal is definitely a bit daunting. However, the cast members here are absolutely incredible at what they do and really do make it a very fun experience. As for the food, I just don't think you could ever go wrong with fried chicken and a really great thick milkshake that you eat with a spoon. People really love the theming here, with black and white televisions placed throughout the restaurant playing clips from 1950s sitcoms. And as far as the food, we've seen some rave reviews, including one from frequent reviewer Poor Nana Poor Father, who said, I absolutely love this restaurant. It's one of my family's favorites, and we never miss going here on our trips. The food is fantastic. My husband loves the fried chicken, while I love the old-fashioned pot roast. Milkshakes and desserts are delicious. The theming is spot on and nostalgic. This is a definite must do. 
ask for a table with a TV. The theme here is what really wows me. I'm not sure you can get better than this at Disney World. Like everything is really impeccably done from the TVs at the table to the awesome tune in lounge. It's just really, really well themed. Some of your newer reviews did mention that you were disappointed in the food quality when you ate here recently. We wonder if this was some bad luck a few of you ran into or if it's been a really consistent dip in quality. Victoria222 said, we were not impressed with this restaurant. The meatloaf was good, but the food wasn't amazing. With Tiff Tattoo adding, the fried chicken and pot roast were great, but the vegetables were lacking seasoning. The corn was cold and mushy, and the green beans had no flavor and were undercooked. If you've eaten here recently, and if you agree or disagree with your fellow viewers, head over to allears.net and let us know in your own review. The pros. A lot of you love the 1950s sitcom environment of this restaurant. If you love home-cooked comfort food, this is the place for you. Several of your reviews mentioned the portions are big too. The waitstaff really gets into the act at this spot, giving you a little bit of show with your meal. The cons. Some of your reviews mention the food being expensive. At $24 for fried chicken and $21 for meatloaf, we're not saying it's cheap, but there is a $24 burger over at Brown Derby for comparison. Your most recent reviews mentioned that you were disappointed in the food quality lately. Sure, it's part of the fun for a lot of us, but some people don't like being told to eat their peas or to keep their elbows off the table, no matter how hilarious it's supposed to be. And finally, your pick for the best restaurant in Hollywood Studios with a rating of 8.50. Baseline Tap House. Oh, yeah, baby. I love Baseline Tap House. It's one of my favorite spots in all of Walt Disney World. I love getting to try different beers with their beer flights. I love that gigantic pretzel. And most of all, I love that charcuterie board, which I will scream until I die that that $10 huge charcuterie board is one of the best deals in all of Walt Disney World. Inspired by California breweries and tap houses, Baseline offers a unique hybrid of bar, lounge, and quick service outlet that you told us you love. While the theming is understated to say the least, there is a cool backstory and you should be absolutely on the lookout for the subtle design details. As the story goes, Baseline Tap House is in the building that used to house the Figueroa Printing Company, a mom and pop print house that had ties to the Disney Studios in nearby Burbank. There are cool architectural and mechanical details with exposed walls old printing equipment and artifacts such as Disney-themed printed materials in various stages of the printing process. With indoor and outdoor seating, seven craft California beers and one cider on tap, and a popular Small Bites menu, this spot has some very die-hard fans. A reviewer named Jade said, Baseline is located right next to Sci-Fi Dine and Theater and is a great spot to chill out and enjoy a drink in the AC. They also have outdoor seating if the weather is nice. They offer a wide variety of craft beers on tap, mixed cocktails, and small bites. Check it out. I could not agree more with the number one pick. The charcuterie board here is incredible, as is the giant pretzel with beer cheese. Truly, this is a must visit for me every single time I'm in Hollywood Studios. Now, don't bring your family here expecting everyone to be fed a full meal. This place is designed for drinking beer while noshing on very limited but very delicious menu items. But if your travel party is made up of adults and you're looking for a place with a laid back vibe and a great beer selection, you won't find a better place for that in Walt Disney World. Sometimes good beer can be kind of hard to find in Disney World, but Baseline totally has you covered. Just make sure that you don't walk right by this spot because it is kind of inconspicuous. And people do love the food also. A reviewer named Slider Sport told us, my wife and I split the pretzel with beer cheese and the charcuterie board for lunch and we were very pleased with the food. The pros. Words like chill came up quite a bit in your reviews. You raved about the beer selection and the cocktail menu. One of your reviews called it elevated bar food. The cons. If you're looking for a family-friendly environment, you can definitely do better in this park. While you said the food here is great, not everyone is going to love the small bites format. 
This place is definitely on the small side, so don't expect to walk in and find a seat during peak times. And that does it for your list of the best restaurants in Hollywood Studio. What did you think of this list? Did your favorite restaurants make it on this list, or did you feel like the best one was overlooked by your fellow viewers? Head over to allears.net to leave your reviews for everything Disney Parks related, hotels, restaurants, rides, and more. You have the power to change this list right now by leaving your own review, and who knows, your opinion may be included in a future episode. And if you liked this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Be sure to stay tuned to All Ears TV and AllEars.net for more Disney news. Follow us on Instagram at AllEarsNet. New to the channel? Check out our other All Ears videos right here and please subscribe to AllEars.net. You clang that little notification bell so you immediately get notified when we post a new video. This is Chris for All Ears TV. See you next time.